Colorado at noon. An Amtrak employee has life-threatening injuries after the Zephyr hit a semi-tanker on tracks near Keensburg. I'm Brian Flores. Three passengers were also injured. That collision has shut down Amtrak service while repairs are made. Now, this happened last night about 1030 just east of Keensburg near Weld County Roads 398 and 63. The Amtrak was heading from Union Station to Lincoln, Nebraska. Our Ashley Portillo is at Union Station right now. And Ashley, do we know why the semi was on the tracks in the first place? And Brian, so in a statement from Colorado State Patrol, they did tell us, they did mention they don't know why that semi truck was on the tracks in the first place. They also mentioned they don't know how or why this crash even happened, but we are learning a little bit more information about the crash itself as well as the investigation. Now, we are also learning that the driver is a 31 year old male from Arkansas. The extent of his injuries unknown at this time. Now, Antrax says a train crew member is hospitalized right now. Meanwhile, CSP says that's a 42 year old man from Utah who has serious life threatening injuries. Now, as this investigation does continue, this is already impacting so many travelers. One passenger I spoke with here at Union Station earlier today said he actually flew into Denver today when he arrived. And that's when he got a notification from Amtrak about his train being canceled. I have a nice, uh, easy train trip uh, ahead of me that's already paid for, and now I'm looking for a bus or some other way to get back from Glenwood Springs. Meanwhile, in a statement also from Amtrak, they said customers who were impacted because of those train cancellations will either be refunded or rebooked. Meanwhile, those passengers that were aboard that train involved into the derailment were actually taken by bus to nearby hotels. We're also learning, too, that Amtrak is working with them to get them to their final destination. And right now, still unclear how long this investigation will take and how long those repairs will take as needed. For now, reporting live in Denver, I'm Ashley Portillo covering Colorado First. Ashley, thank you for that update.